kept saying she couldn't breathe. She just she just would panic because she said she couldn't breathe. An Odessa mother speaking out after a photo of her daughter in the ER goes viral. Tonight, she wants a change in procedure. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Crystal Cruz. It's our top story tonight. Medical Center Hospital confirms their staff put a plastic bag over a 16-year-old COVID patient's head, calling it standard procedure in certain instances. The young teen's mother says this isn't okay. Tatum Gwynn takes the story from here. Tatum. Yeah, Crystal, there are a lot of questions here. We're told from the time uh, that we are young to never put a plastic bag over your head, right? And then you see this. Medical Center Hospital calls it draping, and they say that it is standard procedure in some cases, including transporting a patient. Natalie Rodriguez says that was the case for her daughter, Nayeli. She had tested positive for COVID and her oxygen was in the 80s. That's not good. So she was sent to the hospital. Since her oxygen levels were so low, Nayeli was admitted. And before she was transported from the ER, the plastic bag was put over or rather draped over her head. Staff telling Rodriguez they had to do this in order to transport her. We spoke with her mother this afternoon. She says she's upset over the protocol and wants it to end. It makes me angry when I cry because it's not right. Like I say, it's hard to see your kid in a plastic bag trying to breathe and you can't help them. In a statement, the hospital says in part, quote, a draped patient is never left unattended and is already on some form of oxygen or breathing assistance. As with any other medical procedure, the patient and or guardian has the right to refuse the form of protection. Now, again, you can see in the photo, there does not appear to be any oxygen or breathing assistance. Her mother says the bag was over her head for about 30 minutes. Natalie and the hospital have spoken. She wants them to stop using bags or draping in any case. Now, something else to note, the Ector County Hospital District Police and the FBI have been called in to investigate. Since this photo has gone viral, hospital leaders say that their staff have received multiple threats, including threats on their lives, their families' lives, and even a few bomb threats. Crystal.